So the time has come officially AngularJS as a framework is dead, as a library is dead, whatever you want to call it. And this is something which we discussed in one of the first videos, I, I think mid-August uh, five time technologies in today's time and AngularJS was one of them. So AngularJS has come a long way and finally it ended, it was ended, the long term support for Angular was ended this December, December 31st, 2021. And what this officially means is that Google right now no longer supports AngularJS for basically anything, right? So if there is any sort of feature addition or any sort of minor fixes, Google would not be supporting AngularJS anymore. So AngularJS has been very close to my heart also because that was probably one of the first things I learned outside of vanilla JavaScript and that is where a lot of initial code damn content came from as well. A lot of videos on AngularJS series, a lot of things on AngularJS. So I want to dedicate this video a little bit to reflect back on AngularJS, a few things about it and how it came about to be the one of the first frameworks in the JavaScript ecosystem. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So if you go to Code Dam, if you go to playlist section, you're gonna see one of the first playlists, if you go way back, was of AngularJS. And this playlist was probably a turning point in Code Dam's history as well because of a lot of work being done in this singular playlist itself. I remember like shooting these videos in the month of May 2015. I was learning a lot of things about AngularJS, but this framework, which was as simple as importing it and starting working with it, was the foundation and the very first framework for a lot of developers out there. And you can see a lot of routing and a lot of logic of MVC, Model View Controller, came from Angular and obviously not a lot of frameworks followed on that apparently, but still things like, for example, the JSX expression you would see in React it's pretty similar to how you would write it in Angular, although it's again template based. So you could probably argue frameworks like Vue or Svelte actually borrowed the idea, but not React, but you get the idea. Like this was probably one of the first frameworks to do something like this, where you could also use the directives or what do you call them? The attribute values as special directives to bind data, one-way data binding, two-way data binding with Angular. So in a nutshell, it was a very powerful framework, a very powerful library at that time as well, with all sorts of factories and providers. And I mean, this was probably a great framework. And I could also say like, I probably like AngularJS more than Angular because I mean, I'm biased here, but I've worked much more with AngularJS compared to Angular. So that might be one of the reasons. But you can see, for example, in this little video which we have, Angular.js was also very much declarative in a way that you can have state on a component level and push elements to a state array and it'll automatically update. So it will keep an eye on, out on the scope variable, which is where you would attach a lot of state and so on. So in a nutshell, it was a great way for anyone to get started with a framework and declarative world coming from an imperative world. So you will see like building a to-do app, which is like a hello world in a framework setting was something which was as simple as doing this uh, little piece of code where you would just have to define a controller, a couple of functions, and then you could access those functions inside of your HTML directly. And everything else, which is on the state level, would be managed by you. And I also came across this little <laughs> video lesson uh, from January 12th, 2016, which is almost like six years ago from Code Dam. So you'll see that uh, even six years ago, the main website on codedam.com included a lot of documentation for AngularJS. And funnily enough, we still follow the same URL structure, codedam.com slash learn slash something, which is the name of the course. But this time, the courses are much more interactive, much more hands-on. They are not just documentation, but you can still see the seeds of interactivity and, you know, hands-on implementation was there because of the documentation style and ability for you to edit and run code directly in the browser. So, <laughs> I mean, I've been trying to pretty much build a website like CodeDam where you can 
learn by doing since forever since the time i was trying to learn coding uh but yeah i mean it's it's refreshing to see that we have done some good work over the last six years at least on the website front so yeah i think this part of the website was also built with angular if i'm not wrong angular.js and uh, since then code dam as a youtube channel me as a developer me as a person and code dam as, the, as a website has come a long way so thank you so much to angular.js for being around and teaching so many developers how to get started with a framework and it probably has an immeasurable impact on the javascript development ecosystem paving the way forward for a lot of other libraries to come that is all for this video if you liked angular.js let me know what you liked most about this library this framework would you be missing this or not or you are just someone who hates angular at all so let me know what you think in the comments below that's all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching